and welcome to the Logic Minute. In this segment, I'm going to demonstrate how to nudge audio regions. So to begin with, let's select any audio region in a project. And I'm going to zoom our view in here. And now while holding Option and pressing the arrow keys, you'll see I can nudge my region forward and backward. Let's get it back at bar 5 there. And we can also change the value of the nudge here. So if we right click or control click on a region, we get a contextual menu here. And you'll see down in the middle, we have our nudge commands and also set nudge value, where you'll see we have a number of different choices. You can choose MIDI ticks, which we're on by default right now, uh, beat divisions, beats, bar or measure, SMPT timecode frames, uh, half frames, and even samples. So we can get a very high resolution in order to move our regions very accurately. And these can even be accessed by uh, key commands. Uh, these are set up by default for these five most common here. So let's click here. I'm going to zoom out a little farther and I'll demonstrate these quickly. So control option and D will allow us to move by Beat divisions, control option B allows us to move by beats, control option and M allows us to move by measure or bar, and finally, control option and S would give us empty time code, so we can actually move by frames, which could come in handy if you're working with any video projects. And that's how you nudge audio regions in Logic Pro 8. If you want to master Logic Studio fast, drop what you're doing now and head to logicstudiotraining.com.